In this video, I'll be talking about Michael Alise as apparently Arsenal may be targeting the player for the summer. And I also talk about Yusuf Fofana as Arsenal may be one of the many clubs monitoring the player. I also touch on Arsenal's elite kits as well as apparently, you know, the new kits for the next season have been revealed. So starting off with the news about Michael Alise and it came from Ed Arons with The Guardian. And he was saying that Arsenal are targeting a striker and a winger in the summer to strengthen Mikel Arteta's squad. He's saying it's understood that Newcastle striker Alexander Izak is one of the primary targets but again you know we already knew that that Arsenal do like Isak so not many updates on him so far but mainly on Elise is that he's now understood to be a potential target after impressing Arsenal's scouting department and you can see as well that his contract in includes a release clause that comes into effect in the summer and is understood to be in the region of 65 million but David Ornstein was talking about those two rumours and said that neither of those names I've heard figure uh, prominently in Arsenal's thinking but it's still very early in the window and it's not even open yet so it's not easy, so it's uh, not easy to say much definitively. So Isak, first of all, you know, I've already touched on him. Arsenal do like the players, just whether it's realistic or not, and have to wait and see if we get anything more on that. But the Olise news is very interesting. I think we've been linked to him in the past, but then, you know, it kind of went away again, and now it's back. And he might be a target now. I mean, you to be honest, we've always uh, wanted a winger. You know, we've always talked about, uh, you know, uh, strength for Bukayo Saka, maybe some competition there. And Olise apparently is a potential target for Arsenal. I mean, listen, he's a very talented player. I really do like Olise. Not really a super fast winger, more of a maybe creative winger, so maybe uh, quite similar to Bukayo Saka in that regard. So, you know, he is very creative and, you know, has abundance of talent. He has got a few injuries at Crystal Palace, though. I don't know if it's fair to describe him as injury prone because apparently Crystal Palace is rushing back, so I don't know at Arsenal it might be better, but he does pick up a few injuries. But the question is, would he really fit in at Arsenal? As I said, he would be, you know, a brilliant player, but, you know, lots of Arsenal fans have discussed maybe a different type of winger. Maybe a Pedro Neto or uh, Nico Williams type, where, you know, more direct more pacey in behind kind of winger whereas I don't think Olise is really you know a kind of that winger I think he's more of a ball to feet winger and Olise can't really play on the left as well you know Arsenal fans want a winger that can play on the left and right and Olise he can only play on the right so I don't know I wouldn't fully be against it because listen the talent is absolutely unbelievable and again for Bukayo Saka he would be very good competition but 65 million that is a release clause and I don't see Crystal Palace you know negotiating that I don't think you can really say you know here's less I think you have to pay that release clause or nothing and Arsenal want a straight a midfielder I think they also want a defender and you know they want a winger as well but will they be willing to spend 65 million up front for a winger when they need other positions I mean whoever does get Olise at that price you know to start in their team I think it would be a decent you know option for them but I'm not sure if this is the one for us the price is a little bit too much in my opinion and 65 million yes you know he is a good player for that amount of money but do Arsenal really need him for me I don't think you know I think as I said I would prefer maybe a more PC uh, direct winger something like that you know not really the type of that Olise has Again, though, wouldn't fully be against it because, listen, for that talent, you can't really be angry if you buy, a, you know, a guy of that talent. He's a, he's a brilliant, brilliant player when he's on it. In that Crystal Palace team, him and Eze are the, you know, shining lights in that team. I think Wharton's doing very well as well and they're doing, you know, extremely well under the new manager. And it'll be interesting to see if they can keep Elise. Will anybody uh, be willing to pay that release clause? Will he stay there for another year? You know, it's a one to watch out for. So there's no good negotiating with Crystal Palace. So, you know, I guess it does make the deal much easier, 65 million. But again, is this one Arsenal goals for it I don't think so have to wait and see though you know just a potential target apparently you know there's not that, that doesn't mean we're negotiations or you know seriously considering it nothing like that it's just that you know he could be a target and you know he is a potential option so nothing much at the moment it's just that Arsenal do you know realize that Elise is a good player and he has impressed Arsenal it's just whether we make a move or decide you know that he's not the player for us so one to watch out for in the summer I can see Elise moving and Arsenal will be linked a lot I think but I have to wait and see if anything serious happens like talks or you know any more confirmation have to wait and see you know Ornstein saying that you know he's not really heard those links pro uh, properly but he does also add that it's still early in the window so you know maybe later down the line those uh, late, uh, names could come up again and maybe he'll confirm it but I have to wait and see nothing too much going on but apparently Olise is of interest to Arsenal moving on to some news about Yusuf Fofana and it came from uh, Santi JM and Sebnonde those are pretty good outlets in obviously France and they said that Arsenal are one of the teams monitoring the situation of Yusuf Fofana as the French international only has one year left on his current contract when it comes to this summer. Fabrizio Romano was talking about his situation and said that several clubs are, you know, monitoring the French midfielder Yusuf Fofana as he's out of contract with Monaco in June 2025, but nothing is advanced so far. PSG are not actively working on the deal as things stand. Same for Italian clubs, the situation remains open for the summer. And he was talking about it within the Arsenal side of things and said that I can guarantee that Fofana does lots of interest but nothing concrete at this point with Arsenal or any other other, other club. He will decide his future in the summer, but nothing 
nothing now, so nothing concrete is happening at this moment in time. So you can see there, you know, Santi JM and Seb Nonda, decent outlets, and then Fabrizio Mano doesn't really rule Arsenal out. He says that PSG and Italian clubs aren't really working on it, and says that several clubs are monitoring him, and doesn't deny the interest that Arsenal are monitoring him, so you know, this could easily be true. I remember we were linked with this guy uh, during the Declan Rice saga last year, when it looked like uh, we could miss out of it on him to Man City, you know, we were linked to Fofana as a pot uh, potential backup, maybe. And obviously, well, glad we got Rice, but it doesn't mean that, you know, Fafana's a rubbish player. I do think he's a decent player, even though I haven't watched a little bit of him, you know, much this season. I think he's still young as well, by the way, maybe 24, 25, I'm not sure. So, you know, not the oldest of players and does have good experience, obviously, still with Monaco, I believe. He's more of a number eight, I'd say, can play in the 10. So he is a midfielder in that role. So, you know, he would be decent depth as well and can start a few games. But the question is, is he really Arsenal level? I'm not sure. Obviously, if you're talking about his price, I mean, no, you know, no way specific price is mentioned but you know you would think with a year left on his current deal you wouldn't think that it'd be stupid money you think maybe 20 to 30 million i don't know if that's being generous so you wouldn't expect a steady amount of money and you know as of now he's not sending a new contract or anything and many clubs are monitoring him so you know a move for this summer could easily happen of course arsenal are just monitoring him apparently you know nothing interest nothing you know no talk stuff like that i'm sure arsenal monitoring a load of players so this may you know just be very minor and for Brits romano saying that you know nothing's close at this moment in time the situation's very open and just literally have to wait and see what happens in the summer so he's not giving anything away as well doesn't deny Arsenal's interest as you know Arsenal probably are interested in the player as well you know monitoring him apparently but again nothing's close and again monitoring is very you know uh, very minor I'd say you know we monitor a lot of players as I said and you know we're not in serious talks or anything so I have to wait and see as I said for Fana he's a decent profile is he quite Arsenal level I'm not sure but Arsenal are apparently monitoring the player situation for the summer I think it is probably likely he does go he probably wants to try a new challenge and have to wait and see uh, where he does go. I'm sure Arsenal, you know, he would love that move. Out of all the teams interested in him, Arsenal's likely got to be one of the top clubs there, but if not, maybe he'll go to a different club if Arsenal don't go, you know, do anything serious. One to watch out for in the summer, but again, very, very minor stuff at the moment as nothing much is going on and Arsenal just monitoring his situation. So after maybe come back to the situation in the summer, as I'm sure there'll probably be more links. And final little bit of news, well, not really news, just an update about the kits. You can see these two here, obviously already posted it as well. These are apparently Arsenal's new home and uh, away kits for next season leaked by footy headlines who are pretty reliable obviously I have to wait until official confirmation but yeah this is probably likely going to be it as footy headlines are very good when it comes to this type of news and obviously on the left you can see Arsenal's potential home kit and on the right Arsenal's potential away kit as well and you know what do you guys think of these I've seen lots of different opinions some people saying that it looks a bit like a bottle the first one and they don't really like it stuff like that and you know the black one maybe has too much on it me personally I still think our kits this season have probably been better the home kit I'm, I'm not really sure obviously you have to wait until you know it looks uh, how it looks on the player because you know that can really change your opinion but just looking at it i'm not sure on it at the moment the blue and uh, you know red and you know it's a lot of white as well i would prefer more red but yeah it is what it is and the black one's quite nice as well again need to wait and see how it looks on the player but the black one does look pretty decent although i'm not sure about the white bits on the sleeve bit third kit you know that's not really been seen or anything so as of now we just have pictures of the home and away kit from footy headlines and uh, you know this is probably likely going to be it in my opinion i think you know it's been uh, decreasing i thought you know when we, uh, sorry last season when we had the black away kit and the arsenal home kit i really like that this season the gold home kit's been very nice the away kit's okay but i think the third kit's super nice as well these ones though i'm not sure maybe they've been declining you know some people have said that as we've been getting better as a football club our ki kits have been getting worse it's a fair point to be fair but obviously you know we would prefer a success on the pitch but yeah just to mind a little bit of fun what do you guys think of the kits i need to see it on the players at the moment i'm not a huge fan of it but again i will you know delay my judgment at this moment in time until it's obviously officially confirmed and have to wait and see how it looks on the players as well but yeah these are apparently arsenal's leaked home kits for next season you know the away and home but that's it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below what are your thoughts on the home and away kit are you a fan of it or are you not would you like to see you know me wait until you see the players in it i don't know what do you also think about the fofana news would you be interested in sending him in the summer as you think he could be a decent option or do you think arsenal should look to maybe a higher quality player and let me know your thoughts on michael alice as well would you be up for this do you think 65 million you know for his talents very very good and he would provide amazing competition for saka on the right or maybe you're like me and you're a little bit reserved and you're thinking you know it's a little bit too much money and maybe it's not the right type of winger let me know your thoughts on that as well make sure you check out some of the content from obviously the tottenham win very very good win there so make sure you check out the live match review and the player ratings if you haven't already seen it but as for this video leave a like on it if you've enjoyed it subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one.